Hi, I'm going to show you how to make the insert I made in the little mini album for the Ripley photos. That is the actual page. This one isn't finished yet because I haven't finished the album, but I'm going to show you how to put it together. This is the page that actually goes in the album and I've made these pages 8 inches by 5 inches. Then the insert is on the back of the page and you turn it over. You've got this piece, this folds down, so you've got, you've got much room here. One, two, four, four by six photos and then another bit with the pocket in there. Let's pop things in, fold that back up, Oops. fold that back up and this comes out the other way. There's another two four by six picture spaces there, it's a bit smaller one there with the pocket so that you've got that nice big tag there so that's nearly another full size photo and then in your pockets fit these nice big tabs, even tags, <laughs> they go in into those two pockets. So you've got loads of space for big photos or lots of journaling. Folds back up. So I'll show you how to do that. I actually used some paper bags. They're paper bags I got from um, Crafty Love. They're five and a half by eleven and a half, and I think they're about one twenty for ten. Um, what you want to do is open out the gusset, they'll come flat and you want to push those side gussets out and flatten the whole bag out, flatten this bottom out, a bit fiddly usually, but we'll flatten all that out, get your bone folder and really make those creases firm. I don't really seem to have enough room here. There. So once we've got to that stage, we want to cut the side of our bag off. We want this seven and a half in inches across. So we want to cut that side off. Then we're left with this. That side's open right down to the bottom. Then what you want to do is score it at one and a quarter inches from the top side, the open side, uh, and then six and a quarter. And that's what you want to do. That needs to be a mountain fold in the middle, and that top one and a quarter inch fold needs to be a valley fold. What we're going to do then, so that stays there for now. So you've got your paper bag there with your creases in. Then what you need to do is ink all your edges. So this at the bottom becomes where your extra page is going to go in, which is going to be this piece. That's going to be the extra flap which folds over. That's going to go in there. This is a page, that's a page that's the back of your pocket at the top. You want to ink, can you see where I've inked, across the middle crease, across that crease at the bottom, the sides, the open sides and then I've actually just inked inside there because I don't like seeing the beige bit of the pocket just inside those pockets you're making for the tag that just gets rid of that beige colour. On the back, do the same again, down all the sides, across all the creases. If you miss any out, you'll be able to do it. I missed the, on the first one I did, I think I missed little bits out, but creepily got in there with my Tim Holtz. Um, I used black soot on there, the distressing, to do that. Um, and I'll see you in part two to give you some measurements.